They blew up. Again? Oh, well, they, they do that. Hey, what are you getting for lunch? Uh, sorry, this is the GGSP office, right? Uh, yeah, the Good Game Space Program. Oh, you must be the new flight controller. Perfect. We need you to build a rocket and take it to the Mun ASAP. Oh, is this like a Kerbal Space Program sort of thing? Look, I'm really bad at that kind of stuff. Look, it's not rocket science. Just build a rocket and take it to the Mun. OK, that's literally rocket science, though. <laughs> you flight controllers crack me up. Get to work. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> OK, looks like it's my job to try and get a rocket to the Mun in Kerbal Space Program 2. And thankfully, something new they've added this time around is better tutorials. So let's jump into that, shall we? So you want to get to space. Have you tried rockets? Rockets use fuel and engines to create thrust, which propels them forward. When a fuel tank is empty, it is dropped to stay as lightweight as possible, allowing the rocket to go even faster. Different stages do different things. Often the first stage is very powerful, with just enough fuel to get the vehicle through the atmosphere. The second stage usually has a low thrust engine that, while not as powerful, is more fuel efficient. After dropping the heavier first stage and leaving the atmosphere, the second stage engine pushes the much lighter second stage to orbital speed. On a flight to space, the final stage parachutes back down to the surface, ideally in one piece. So, I've done the tutorials, and I think I've got my head around the basics. It is now time to aim for the moon. I mean, the mun. But first... I've got to build myself a rocket. OK, to start, my rocket, which is definitely going to make it to the mun, I don't care what you say, let's go with a command control vessel. I'm going to get a big one, because I just feel like the bigger the rocket is, the better chance I have of at least some part of it making it onto the mun. OK, I need a coupling. Can I put an XL coupling on a lot? I can. Oh, that's that. That's aerodynamic, right? That's going to work. Now we need a fuel tank. And again, the bigger the rocket, the bigger the fuel tank. There we go. Oh, <laughs> this already looks terrible. What if I put a really tiny one there? Just, just to help it out. There we go. Itty bitty fuel tank, just to give it a bit of a helping hand. OK, let's put an engine on there. No, <laughs> can I have a really big engine? Oh, that's not as big as I thought it was going to be. That's disappointing. Can I put another engine on top of an engine? <gasps> I can! <gasps> Perfect. Now, I want to put... Can I put wings on this bad boy? Let's give it... Let's give it some aerodynamic wings. Because that'll improve this train wreck. I get large, big old flapping wings. I feel like if two wings are great, eight wings are even better. <laughs> Oh, no! I have made the world's either most aerodynamic or least aerodynamic rocket. OK, I feel so overconfident this will actually work. Let's launch our rocket. If this actually works, I will be so surprised. Oh. I thought we'd at least get off the ground! OK, I think the only error I made there was it's a little bit top heavy and maybe a little bit middle heavy and possibly a little bit bottom heavy. So if I add a clamp onto this, maybe I'll be... A... Let's add eight. Can I add eight clamps? There we go. I think we've done it. Let's try that again. OK, that looks like I did something. We're going. We're going. We're going. Oh, we are... Okay. Oh, oh. That got a little bit of room that time. I saw it lift slightly before immediately crashing back down to Earth. OK, I'm back in the lab. I think we're just going to scrap this. I don't know what went wrong personally. I thought this was a great design, but apparently the game disagrees. Let's make something smaller. OK, there we go. This one. Oh, oh, that's huge. Oh, wow. I've made something even bigger than last time. Two clamps should be enough. There's two rocket, two, like, big bits. OK, let's see if we can get her off the ground. Send me to the mun! Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're, we're going off. We're taking off. I don't want to touch anything in case I throw it off its game. Start curving towards the mun so we don't fall out. Oh, no. Oh, oh we're overcorrecting, overcorrecting. It's OK, she's a bit shaky. That's OK. All rockets start out a little shaky at first. 
We haven't crashed yet. Where's the mud? Why is it so far away? Where are we? Whoop. Oh dear. Oh no. Am I near the mud? Cause I'm, f oh no. Where's the mud going? Oh no, it's all the way over there. If you skew the camera this way, technically, it kind of looks like I'm somewhere near the mun. Ah, excellent. I think we were pretty close to the mun, only a little bit far off. Okay, so that was Kerbal Space Program 2. The tutorials were really good. I just think maybe I could have paid a little bit more attention. It's still in early access at the moment and basic features from the first game, like science gathering, aren't in the game yet. And big new features like colony building, multiplayer and interstellar travel are still a while away. So if you're a big Kerbal fan, it's probably worth waiting a little while to play this. But we'll jump in when there's more to see and explode.